Welcome everyone to the Everything Show. I am your host, Matrix Lord Two One Two, and I'm with Sally. What's up, Sally? What's up? Okay, so in the past we have covered the story that uh, Ezra Miller, right, who plays the Flash in Justice League, and you know Batman vs Superman, right? I guess he had a brief moment. Mm-hmm. Did he? Was he in it? In it, in it after credits. Well, anyway, he was in Justice League. We know that, right? So, basically, there was some, like, he was going to write the script and he was going to do stuff, but there was a rumor that, you know, if they weren't going to go his way, he's going to be out because it was, it was delayed. It was taken forever. So, I'm going to read this article. Um, Recently developing on Warner Brothers, the Flash movie took an unexpected turn. Star Ezra Miller disagreed with the lighter tone directors Jonathan Goldstein and John Francis Daly want, and so decided to pro- provide his own script uh, for the Scarlet Piece of Soul movie with comic uh, book scribe Grant Morrison. It was reported that the studio didn't want to go with his screenplay, though Miller would be out as Barry Allen. Um, Well, according to We Got This Covered, this has come to pass and Miller may now be done as the Flash. It should be said that our source notes they've heard some conflicting information on the topic, but we're told that general consensus among those close to the project is that the Justice League star won't be playing the lead in the Flash after all, and Warner Brothers will now recast the role as laid out in previous write-up and of the situation, the reason for this is WB decided not to go with Miller's storyline and simply not the route they want to take. Uh, we've been told they liked his script, but not enough to change course. Uh, this makes sense, too, considering W has found success with lighter fare. Like, okay, so here, here's the thing. And I, I, th- this, is, this is their fault. They wanted to go dark. Remember how we were making fun of... Warner Brothers and DC that they wanted Batman vs. Superman's dark, like, you know, Justice League was dark, right? Yeah. They were going dark, right? Then, with the Suicide Squad, it was dark, and they changed it to make it lighter and ruined it, right? But once you went dark, how could you be, like, how could you have the same character from this darkness be super light now? So, Ezra Miller wanted to stay dark, like just do a dark Flash movie. And they're like, no, lighter, lighter, lighter. So what the hell is that? So you know what? We lost Ben Affleck. What happened? I was going to say, well, DC's in trouble anyway. I mean, they they don't know what they want to do anymore. Yeah. Aquaman, Wonder Woman. Aquaman, Wonder Woman. That's it. So you got, bro. And do that. <laughs> you got nothing but fish and Amazon women. Because I, I was hoping they'd do Flashpoint, but they doesn't seem like they want to go that direction. So why don't they just scrap the Flash movie? Unless, of course, they're going to have like Wally West or something. Oh, the they could. I but guess. Who cares? Like, I don't know. So here's another thing. By the time the Flash movie comes out, right, is the Flash on TV going to be over, like done? They could just ask Grant Gustin to do a movie. I don't think it'll be done, but... I mean, Arrow's ending, right? Mm-hmm. In early 2019, in the fall season. The Flash will probably have another year after next year. Supergirl supposedly next year, 2019 to 2020, might be the it because they're doing a Supergirl movie. But then again, if they're doing a Flash movie, they're still keeping Flash on TV, so that makes no sense. So why couldn't they have both? Unless they decide to end it all. Like It's weird. See, I don't know why they just didn't get everybody that was in the TV shows in the movie. I mean, I everybody likes them anyway. Yeah. Or they did. I mean, yeah. I agree with you. So now we're going to have in Crisis on the Infinite Earths is going to cross over into Arrow, Flash, Supergirl, Legends of Tomorrow, and the newly created Batwoman 
TV series. Because originally they made a pilot, but now the pilot has turned into a series. So Batwoman will be debuting, I guess, in the fall. And yeah, Black Lightning, you stay out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I never know why he's not in. He's not part of that. Anything. Why is he not joining the party? Yet? He's not allowed. He's not part of the club. Can't stay. He can't be there. They don't want him. That's hysterical. I think the guy. I mean, supposedly the guy that writes for the comic had words with like an, like not like in public bashing DC and Batman and all that stuff saying that they, you know, put his hero in the thing. And it, it was very controversial. I can't even say the words on here, what was said. So I don't know, if, you know, they just don't want to deal with the character for anything. Um, yeah. So flesh might be out. Got to take with a grain of salt. It's rumor until we see it everywhere else. Because, again, this is just breaking. It's fresh, you know? So we may, things may change. Um, but, again, I got this from, we got this covered. So there's that. All right. Uh, Kevin Feige said that the Mandarin will pop up again, which makes no effing was, sense. Because it makes no sense. Yeah. Iron Man's not around. So, like, that's stupid. How do you have the manual with Iron Man? Why bother? Unless you're going to bring Iron Man back. But you can't have a new Iron Man. It's got to be Tony Stark versus the Mandarin. Well, Can we get like a Iron Man 3B or something? Like an another version of Iron Man 3? <laughs> yeah. <sighs> unless they bring him back somehow later on. Well, the rumor is that they... The Shang-Chi movie is a disaster, so they, we got to give them some leftovers to make it interesting. So supposedly they're going to have the Mandarin in Shang-Chi, which that's stupid. Well, I don't, I don't know a lot about Shang-Chi, but I don't think that makes think, sense. But I, I think, think. <laughs> and, and I don't want to be, I don't want to be controversial here, but. I think that Marvel had like a color chart and different things, and they're like Asian, Asian. No, <laughs> like no, <laughs> Mandarin and Shang Chi. Not really. That's an Iron Man villain, but okay. Makes no sense. Well, Eternals wasn't. You know, if they they're throwing Thanos in Eternals. Probably because it can't stand on its own either. Maybe. You know. You have Cersei, which is Angelina Jolie, which is fine. Supposedly, we're going to have a gay superhero in there, which is fine, too. It's not like, you know, unless, of course, they make it a real crazy, lighthearted, stupid comedy thing. Then it's going to be ridiculous, you know. So I'm not really crazy about Eternals or Shang-Chi. Um, what I am interested in seeing is James Gunn is expanding on Rocket's origin. He has said a little bit from each movie, and he's going to do that in the third installment. But poor Rocket's going to be dying in the comic shortly, which who knows if death is death, like if he stays dead. But... The thing I just read today, he knows he's dying. So, you know, that sucks. And they have a cover of his blood-stained hand on the window, which we know Marvel. They never keep people down anyway, but I don't know why. But yeah. So, Rocket, the High Evolutionary, Moon Dragon is Drax's daughter. She's going to be appearing in Guardians, supposedly. So we shall see. Now, another movie that people are probably really not talking about yet is the Sopranos prequel movie, which 
looks from this screenshot very interesting. I mean, uh, the Punisher star, you know, also Shane from Walking Dead. Oh, is that? He, yeah, he looks like a mobster. And they're beating up somebody. <laughs> it's called Newark. So that I can't wait to see. And then we got Aladdin, which that I can wait to see because I don't really care about that. It looks horrendous, Aladdin. What do you think? Hmm. I mean, parts of it look good, but other parts are like. Oh, the world! Not really. Um, yeah, I don't know. we got a surprise uh, news today. We heard that uh, Saw is coming back, going to be re rebooted. Oh my God, it's exciting! And really? Chris Rock is. Doing oh really? It. Yeah. Chris Rock is bringing Saw back. That's weird, isn't that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. But, like, just because he's bringing it back, he's not going to turn it into, like, a comedy, right? It's just going to be, I guess he's going to finance it? I, don't I didn't know. know he was a Saw fan. That's... I mean, I'm, not, I'm not a big fan of the Saw movies, but. No, I know, but I didn't think. I don't know. That's, that is, wouldn't this be like an April Fool's joke? Chris. What is he doing, though, Chris Rock? Is he paying yeah. for it, or he's... <sighs> okay. I don't know. Wait, Lion Gate Chairman Joe Drake is quoted as saying, when Chris Rock came to us and described in chilling detail his fantastic vision that reimagines and spins off the world of the notorious jigsaw killer, we were all in. Okay, so he likes horror movies. Okay, Chris Rock. I guess just like Queen Latifah was going to do Scream, and that didn't happen. So, oh, they explained. Okay, remember how everybody was theorizing? What if somebody was in a plane when Thanos snapped, and then yeah. when they popped back out, they appeared in air? Supposedly, the Russos explained that. There's a reason why Bruce Banner is the smart Hulk. Because he took all that into account before he made the snap. And besides making the snap, when he did it, he made sure he visualized that everybody that got snapped would be restored in a spot that was safe. Yeah. So... That's how, if a plane crashed, people are not going to be in the air. Or That makes sense, yeah. Yeah. So that, which I figured, I thought it was Doctor Strange with the quarters, but no, this is the Hulk. It's a snap. Which is fun. So, it's just going to be awkward. How they can explain five years later. Boom. Hi, honey, I'm home after five years now. Yeah. What have you been doing? Yeah, <laughs> Which they don't even know was five years. It was seconds for them. Hmm. What else? Oh, Jason Momoa has to roll back his beard for Aquaman too. You know, crap. There's probably going to be a John Wick 4. Uh, let's see the box office. Okay, so Endgame right now. We got some foreign numbers added to this. As of May 15th, Wednesday, Endgame has 2,531,000,000. So wow. where does that leave us? Uh, so far, I'm going to have to look at the numbers real closer, but I don't think it's going to beat Avatar. Yeah, it don't look like it. I mean... <laughs> It's making like three and a half a day. I don't. I want it to beat Avatar, but it should have had two six by Sunday, and it didn't. So 
I mean, let's, we got to do the math here. What the hell? Let's just do this. I mean, Avatar, let's get Avatar's numbers. Just want to see if we have a freaking chance in hell. <laughs> 257, 258 million to tie it. Wow. That's a lot of money that we're probably not going to get. So let's try to see if we can get it. Let's, see. let's do some calculations. Okay. Um, Three million weeks. Mm. Fourteen, ten. Okay, so so I think by Sunday, and with foreign numbers added. I'm going to be generous and I'm going to give it 83 million. Okay. That, that, that may not happen. I'm not saying that. All right. So even if I gave it 83 million by Sunday, or mo actually Monday numbers, uh, it's 2,614. It's still not. And then let's let's give it another week, right? So let's say um, one four. Seven. James, you would, you would think that that would be the movie that would beat Avatar, but yeah. All right. So by I need a calendar. I'm going to say by the 20th. So we got this week. What are we, what are we, what's today? 15th, 16th? So we got a weekend here, a weekend here. I'm going to say by the 27th, okay, of May, we're going to probably have 2,671,000,000. Um, uh, Godzilla's gonna be number one then that he comes out. Maybe squeeze in another 29 million. It's, it's, it's probably gonna come up short. It's the most I think we're gonna get is probably we're gonna be right underneath it. I think. I don't know, man. I can't predict it right now. It's, it's so damn close. You know, if it stays in the top five for months, we might be good. Um, if it does beat Avatar, it's not beating it in May. I don't think. Yeah, because when Godzilla comes out. Like, I'm going to say if it beats Avatar June 14th, I'm just making a prediction. If that's the date, I say. June 14th, 2019, Endgame beats Avatar. I'm just throwing it out there. And we shall see. If it does. Hmm. Okay. Let's hope overseas we still got high numbers, you know? That's the only way we're going to do it. So let's see what else box office besides Endgame. Let's see. We got Pikachu as in... Wow, 178 million. Okay, worldwide. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. The Hostel has in 30 million. Wow, that's a lot more than I thought. So. I guess movies are doing good with Avengers. That Palms is seven million four hundred thirty-five thousand. That bombs. <laughs> Palms bombs. <laughs> Yeah. 
and all these other movies are just crap. I don't even want to talk about them. Oh, so we got John Wick. Gonna kick ass this week, I think. Probably gonna beat Avengers. Godzilla yeah, is definitely probably. gonna destroy Avengers. Godzilla. Oh yeah, it's definitely. So what what do you what's your next movie you're looking forward to? Godzilla or is it other ones? I probably won't see Godzilla because let's see you. Uh, probably I might go see Aladdin just to yeah. see, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, All in the world. And maybe Lion King. I don't know. We'll see. We'll come. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I'm going to go see John Wick in the theater, but definitely going to see Godzilla in the theater. That's for sure. Definitely Godzilla. All right. So we're going to get out of here for now. Thank you, Sally. Thank you. Take care. Bye for now.